Well, good morning. Hello to everyone who's joined. And I've finally got my act together this morning, the last couple of times I've been forgetting to put my headphones on, sitting there on the table waiting for me, and I haven't had them in. So we're ready to go. I have my microphone. You can all hear me without any weird echoing stuff going on. And we are in Vietnam. <clears throat> so um, once again, as always, those who are here, please give me a wave. Say hi. Let me know who's joined. Hi, Sarah. Great to see you. Um, anyone who's watching this later, welcome to you as well. So let me show you where we are. This is... We are down on the ground floor, which is really nice. We don't have to take the uh, the elevator to the thirty something floor. <laughs> so that's um, that's the that's the place that we're staying in, which is really small, uh, quite intimate. Uh, just over the other side there is where we'll be having breakfast. Breakfast starts at six thirty. It's five forty five a.m. Hi, Catherine. How are you going? Um, so, what we're seeing to well, okay, let's catch up first. What have we been up to? Well, obviously, we left Kuala Lumpur yesterday and we've uh, arrived in uh, Hoi An. So, that involved um, taking walking walking to the station, which is which wasn't far from our apartment, it was about a 15 minute walk. Uh, the we we took the bus to uh, the airport. <clears throat> Uh, which was about an hour, so we, we got on a nice, comfortable, air-conditioned bus to get to the airport. Uh, we got there nice and early, which was great. Then, um, <laughs> then I discovered that when I booked my ticket, I thought I'd booked a um, a ticket for my luggage based on size. Good morning, Lynn. Hey, how are you going? Lovely to see you. I thought I booked uh, my ticket based on size for my suitcase. There was no indication of weight anywhere that I could find. Hi, Tariq. Great to see you. Um, so when I went to uh, go through the security, the first security gate, uh, they weighed my bag and went, mm, no, sorry, ma'am. <laughs> You're going to have to go over there. So, uh, so that involved, I think it was about 45 minutes to go through the check-in area and pay extra for my suitcase, which I was prepared to do. That was fine. But you're only, we were only allowed seven kilos as carry-on luggage. Richard's bag was 6.9 kilos. <laughs> so anyway, that, um, that kind of ate into our time at the airport a little. Um, we made our way through um, <laughs> immigration and then security and then another security. So there was two lots of security, which is weird. I just didn't understand that one. And uh, finally boarded, and we arrived yesterday. As I was as I was about to, I think it was half an hour before I boarded the plane. I messaged Hoy and um, and and said, "Right, we're on our way. See you soon. Can we catch up?" And he said, "How are you getting from the airport?" And I said, oh, "I think we'll just catch a grab. It's pretty reasonable. Looks 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 okay." And um, he said, "No, here you go. Here's a driver. Use this guy. He's much cheaper." And we did, and it worked out beautifully. The guy was there waiting for us with a little sign that said, Lynn and Richard. And um, and here we are at this lovely little resort. So those who arrived late again, this is this is where we are now in Hoi An. And where the umbrella is, it's, just, it's a little pool. It's a small, but we're actually, oh, let me show you, through here. It's a plant in the way. There's a tree in the way. Let me just turn this computer around again. Um, so it's a nice little spot. Hi, Tish. Oops. Hi, Sandy. And, yeah, so it was great. All right, so what do we see today? Um, I'm, I'm actually trying not to be too loud because obviously it's 5.45 in the morning and there are rooms on either side of me, all around me. Um, so I'm trying not to be too loud. Uh, so anyway, today is part two. Today is part two and we go from the top of Penang Hill. We've already been there. We've seen the butterflies. We've walked through some of the rainforest. 
Um, but today we're going to see a little bit more of that walkway and we're going to climb up to what's called the Curtis Crest and, uh, and see Penang from the very top, uh, a little bit more of the rainforest and then we'll descend on the funicular and our seats for the return ride are much, much better. <laughs> Wake those slackers up. <laughs> There's a big group here too. I think we, when we, we arrived here yesterday, the I don't know if she's the owner, but she was so sweet and she was so welcoming. And she said, look, um, can't do it today, but if you come back to us two days from now and ask, we'll get you a riverfront, um, river view room if you want it. Um, she said, all these people that are here today will be gone in two days and then come back and ask us for the river view room if you want to move, if you want to move your luggage. I went, oh, that's very nice. So, and then she brought us to our room and, and she gave me a big hug at the end. So I just don't know if it's because we've booked for three weeks. Maybe that's what it is. Um, maybe she's not used to having people stay for quite so long, but she gave me a big hug right at the end after she, she personally, with the porter, brought us to our room. Anyway, there we go. So, uh, so we might have a river view room in a couple of days' time. And if we do, I'll definitely show it to you. So let's get on to this uh, recording from the top of Penang Hill, from the habitat, the UNESCO uh, Biosphere World Heritage um, uh, Environment, and uh, and let's let's see the remainder of this um, amazing excursion. We loved this place. It was just green and lush and beautiful and cool, and and it was nice to be up um, away from the away from the madding crowd. All right, let's go. Let's do this. Just pop it into, pop it into here first, and we'll start. Let's go. And Richard says that it's cool when you're in motion. Okay. So this information panel is showing all the um, the plants of the forest that are um, medicinal, healing. These are plants that are used for remedies. And we're back with the cicadas, back with the insects. Hi, Ronnie Lynn. There were some very cute names, Tish. So I'm continuing along the habitat trail. It's very pleasant compared to the heat and humidity of Georgetown and Penang. Up here in the forest on top of the hill is a very welcome relief. I'm not sure where Richard went. I sent him up to have a look at a bromeliad um, house and he said he'd meet me down on the trail. I can't imagine he's still there. Maybe he's gone ahead. Maybe he overtook me. Look at this gigantic, I guess it's a palm. It's huge. Look at the size of the fronds on that it's enormous and we're looking out for these as well these guys they're called asian fairy bluebird so we'll keep an eye out for for these as we walk in the meantime just get a load of this
listening to the constant sounds of the forest. So at night time, these are the nocturnal creatures. Um, frogs, snakes, there's a slow loris, toad, there's actually a civet, gecko. Um, I'm guessing that's a, oh it says it's a worm, not a snake, it's a worm, and other, more frogs. Red giant flying squirrel and another gecko. All live in here in this forest. I think I'm going the right way. Rich has got the map. <laughs> so I'm not absolutely certain. I'm sure I'll find out sooner or later. There's a lovely um, tree fern here with a new frond about to unfurl. Okay, so this is, oh wow, okay, I can see it. It's called Curtis Crest. It's up there. We're going to go up there. This is the treetop walk. So, not built for accessibility once again. Okay, and there it is up there. All right. Oh no. The only way up is that way. I okay, this is one thing I'm not going to let him do without me. I've got to go up there. Look, I just have to take it. Are you still with me, guys? Looks like we lost our signal. I'm going to um, try that again. Bear with me. Hold on a second. I'm right outside the room, so I'm really, um, really hoping that um, it looks like we have to go forward a bit. Bear with me. I'll just scoot through, bring that back to where we were, which is about... 
Where are we? Is it that? Oh. All right. So. Okay, and there it is up there. All right. So, just trying to figure out whether to, I mean, I don't want to disturb Richard. He's still asleep. I could move over to reception maybe, uh, but I do risk losing you when I head over there. I've got to walk across the garden. Um, or we just see how we go. Let's, let's just give this a second try, yeah? Oh, no. The only way up is that way. I get this far and not go up there. Suck it up, princess. You just have to do it. Okay, hey, this is one thing I'm not going to let him do without me. I've got to go up there. Look, I just have to take it. Take it one step at a time. I hope it's worth it. Right, this is to prove that it was actually me that came up here and I didn't just give the camera to Richard. Because it would be reasonable for you to, uh, to think that's what happened. I did it. I did it all by myself. And I made it to the top. <laughs> With my voice? Yeah. Yeah, right. And where the vermilion garden was is where they tipped their rubbish. What? Yep. Oh, yuck. Okay, all right. Let's take a walk around. So this is where we are in relation to the ground, not the... Don't do that. <laughs> He's jumping on the floor and making it all bounce. And... Bell the Tyro has been the official governor's residence and retreat in Penang for over 200 years. Okay. And we do really feel like we're on the top of Penang. Craig Hotel. I can actually see the tips of the domes of the Golden Mosque just in over there. I don't know if you can see it. Just through the trees, we can see the top of the domes. And this one says, a magnificent sight. Views here which stretch as far as the island of Langkawi. Not today, a bit hazy out there today. And to mainland Kadar have been enjoyed for over 200 years. Yeah, no views out to Langkawi today. Be nice to see it on a clear day. It actually feels a bit like smoke haze. And there's the um, there's the forest. And I was warned by the attendant not to lean my device out over the edge and I'm taking that advice on board I don't want to lose it <laughs> I don't want to lose my phone and I'm pretty sure that's the bromeliad house or it might be actually or it might be the uh, information centre that we came, started our climb up the hill from. That almost looks like an observatory over there. I wonder if that's what it is. An astronomical observatory. 
That would be a fair bet, I reckon. And these are the stairs that we climbed to get up here. I promise this is not overdubbing. I'm talking. <laughs> I like your camera. I didn't record this later. I actually really did climb up here. So this, this gentleman at the desk down here is the one who told me, don't put your a device over the rail. And uh, yeah, good advice. I'm not gonna do that. It's a long way down if I have to go and look for, look for my phone at the forest floor. I spot the cicada. Oh no, don't fly away. I actually saw it. And that looks like a bird's nest. In through there. I wonder, it could be. Let's see, that's the best spot I'm gonna see it from. So let's see if we can actually zoom in on it. Looks like a bird's nest. But the cicada, I had my own him, I saw it. And he flew off. It was a black one. Oh, here's a here's a um, a bit of Malaysian nature. I wonder if you'll stay for the camera. Stay still. Stay still. I'm not sure if it's in focus. It's a bit glary at the moment. Okay, so the convalescent. What does it say about this? The first convalescent bungalow was built around 1803, a time when Georgetown was overcrowded and polluted. Dysentery, smallpox, cholera, malaria, and tropical wounds were rife, and medical experts believed that clean air and mountain breezes could help Europeans recover from diseases. Well, they wouldn't hurt. The convalescent was a, at first a retreat from members of the East India Company who could not return to Britain due to illness. Many an ailing patient remained, regained his health here, but for others it was a peaceful place to spend their last hours. Okay. Very hazy down there today, so looking down towards Georgetown, but really difficult to see. I see the occasional small bird flying past and as, as we know small birds are really difficult to catch live on camera they're just too quick what are we looking pretty long bridge when you're looking from here yeah difficult to see apparently that's 14 kilometers that bridge but i can't see it through here it's just too hazy I did see it from the top of the building yesterday but, yeah. All right. Start heading back down. I'll turn the camera off when we get over here. So I can concentrate on where I put my feet going downstairs. Now here's one last look at this government residence. Let's try and get that with the cloud in because that's quite nice. Let's see. Here we go. 
All right, and we're going to head back downstairs now. So I'm going to turn the camera off. But this is Curtis Crest Treetop Walk. I can see the zip line down there. What a shame it's not working. I would have given it a go. built the path around the rock. Yes, up there. No idea. So the zip line is closed. Not operating. I could use my belt. So apparently these are all critters that live around here. Malaysian black scorpion. Brush-footed trapdoor spider. Giant trapdoor spider. Tarantula. Freshwater crab. And various other, there's a centipede, there's another scorpion there, some sort of beetle, and then we've got bits of plants down here as well, cowrie resin, cowrie cone, cowrie pine, I thought they came from New Zealand, but I guess we're in the same neck of the woods. And over here we've got oh pit biker. Wow. 
，都是大蜘蛛啊！哇哦！哦，蛇吗？那是。哈哈哈哈哈 ！Going up, going up, going up, going up, going up. 
Some of this out, it's very, very it's, bumpy. It's, it's a swim, so. They make good time, those two. Yeah. Uh, this is no good, <laughs> it's bouncing all over the place. Oh well. No, it's okay. Thank you.
Oh, we need our ticket. Hold on. Yeah, but mine's in the bag. Yeah, I know. All right. So that was it. What did you think? Did you enjoy the ride? <laughs> yes. As I said, it. Um, something went wrong because it was taking a very long time to get down um, and Richard suspected that it was overloaded because he counted 100 people just in the, <laughs> the small section that we were in. Anyway, um, so we got there, we got there, we got there in the end and uh, that was Penang Hill. Um, hope you enjoyed that. We loved it. We absolutely adored. That was the highlight of our time in Penang was the visit to Penang Hill. Um, so yeah, it was really great. And um, oh, as, as I always say, I love taking you to these places. Um, so here, here's in daylight, here's, here's our, uh, I've come outside and I can see the signal is down in this section. So I think what I'm gonna have to do is click the butterfly tour in a couple of days time. I think I'm gonna have to do it from, um, oh, Richard's opened the door, we'll go back inside. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to have to do it from reception <clears throat> because the, the signal's just um, very dodgy outside there. We're back in the room now and, um, yeah, that's what I'm saying, which is pointing to reception. I can see my signal's down to one bar on this stream, which is a bit weird. All right, so um, so two days from now we'll be, do we'll be doing the uh, part one. Again, I'll be doing it in two parts because it's just wouldn't be right to cut it down to just one tour there's so much to see at the butterfly farm and nancy yes there will be spiders and they're big ones and i'll have to warn you when spiders are coming up if, <laughs> if that's going to um, be disturbing so um rest assured i will i'll i'll give you fair warning and uh so today we're having lunch with hoi so um i'll get some photos from that and then he and i are going to do some planning Let's see what we come up with. 
for our three weeks here in um, Hoi An. Um, it's, it's quite cloudy today, actually, I'm noticing. So I don't know what the weather's going to be like while we're here. Um, but it's overcast right now. Um, I'm really looking forward to having lunch with Hoi and it would be amazing to have a local person to, to show us his um, hometown. Um, it's always great when you're in a place to, to have that, that local um, connection to a place. All right, so um, Rich is pointing at the weather and it looks like it's going to be 31 degrees and overcast today. And then it's going to get hotter during the week, 33, 34, 35, 36 by the time we get to Tuesday. All right, so uh, yes, okay, stay, stay tuned. We've got two, two episodes of Butterfly Farm and then I've got uh, probably one episode of the Botanical Gardens um, and we go to Batu Cave. So I've still got lots to do to, um, to bring those tours to you and I'll get them to, out to you as um, quickly as I can because I don't want them to, to become kind of not relevant to what we're doing here. Um, it's always that weird disconnect when you're in one place and showing tours from another. Uh, you'll have to look away when it's spiders. They are, they're kind of cute. They're big, but they're fluffy. <laughs> you'll see what I mean. All right. Thanks, everyone. Um, share postcards, please, if you can. Um, it really just keeps people aware of, um, of what we're doing while we're here. And for anyone who's watching this later, if you're not already subscribed, please just subscribe. Oh, get those words out. Subscribe to the channel, set your notifications. And I'm always grateful for anything that you can um, uh, spare to um, help us uh, bring you this fantastic content. I think, just think of them as black baby chickens. <laughs> Trust me, they're cute and the scorpions are, are amazing. You have to have to uh, see those. Okay, everyone, we're off to breakfast. Bye for now.